could imagine how your life was the way you would sleep without me. So the queen is back. I'm back. Done busy. Done, 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 done. Hey oh guys, welcome God. to my channel if you are new here welcome back to my channel if you are not new here please go and subscribe to my channel and join the gang because if you're not subscribed yet what are they we upon like come on now just show some support and if you are coming back um thank you for joining us again so I took, I took a couple, you know, I took, took some time, time off to rest, rest and now it's game time, bitches. <laughs> or whatever Nikki said, here we Yes, go. guys, I am back. If you have read the title, it probably going to say, um, where have I been? Am I back? Some, some, something. Yes, I am back. You guys, I know you guys missed me. Miss you as well. Like, me no one probably tired to hear me then say this, but... My comeback feel good hopefully um i'm trying my best to be consistent i made myself a promise that everything that i've started youtube business everything i just go be consistent right through so you guys have been wondering where i have been what i have been up to why am i not posting on youtube have i quit youtube like you guys have a lot of questions and i'm here to like explain everything where i have been you know stuff like that so for the past three months i haven't posted any youtube video and it's because well there's a lot of reasons but it's mainly because i wasn't feeling the vibes to post anything um i made a couple months ago i made a video um to post and well um doing the video I start over a lot of times just because my head wasn't in the video I kept restarting restarting then during the editing process it was just really hard to edit the video because I was making a lot of mistakes I was giving off a bad vibe that I didn't really like and so I end up not posting the video I don't want to have to post like force myself to do a video or you know like if you're not advice you're not in advice you know I force no video so that video i wasn't really liking the vibe that i was giving off so i never but of course it's a right after that me just basically did i give youtube a break me never did i feel it back so for the past three months i basically was neglecting everything in my life i was neglecting school youtube business everything like um school no school school have been kicking my ass like I'm not learning anything. I don't know if you explain it, but like me they pass me test them, but me just not learn nothing and me don't feel good about that. With the business now, um I haven't been posting for a while. Like back then I wasn't posting and I wasn't getting any sale because I wasn't posting. A lot of persons thought that my business was closed. It wasn't closed though, I just wasn't posting and if somebody DM me and wanted an item, I would deliver it to them. But at the end of the day, I wasn't posting. So a lot of persons thought that my business was closed. But I kind of started to um, get consistent with everything in my life again. Um, starting two weeks ago, I started posting on Instagram again. And in those two weeks, me I tell them, me make a lot of money since me they post. Everybody did say they miss me, they feel my business is closed, blah, blah, blah. And it's so funny because if me never start post consistently again, I would make that money when me did make two weeks, like another two weeks. Like, yeah. Um, I came up with some new ideas for my business, like not really new items, but different ways to promote my products. So, um... I did some bundles and stuff like that this um, bundle is a skincare bundle it comes with a headband lip mask face mask and a lip gloss of your choice it doesn't have to be this one and this is for $1,350 and I think you saved $500 if you buy the bundle like if you were supposed to buy everything else everything single it would be more than what the bundle is so, and then I did some new packaging I did some new packaging like I put Diddy on it and then I started selling retail lip gloss so I put my 
business name on the lip gloss and I'm selling it so I now sell wholesale and retail lip gloss. Some of my customers wanted retail lip gloss because a majority of them doesn't have a small business and they don't want to own a small business. They just want to support my lip gloss business so I decided to make some lip retail lip gloss. So yeah, that's that for my business. Um, I just did some new, like tweak some items and make it look presentable or buyable, <laughs> if that's a word, because people start to buy my stuff now. As for the last video, like the last time you guys saw me, I was, I was showing you guys um, my nail supplies. And I have to say, I have gotten a lot more supplies than that. It's a foot pan to do pedicures. I bought some rhinestones, I just got them last week, so I go do some nice nails with these. I've gotten a lot, of, a lot more um, nail polish, I got a lot more stuff than the last time you saw me with um, nail supply stuff, because I am really taking this nail thing um, seriously. After the video though, I start, I told you guys I was going to practice nails on the mannequin. I don't recommend using the, that like, I don't recommend the mannequin hand that I bought. I don't really like it. It kept breaking off every time I was using it. So, majority of the time, I use my own hand. But, yeah, I did this set. I go put it here on myself. I really like the 2D art. That's the first time I'm trying 2D art. It was it came out good for to say it's my first time um, I did some pedicures I go post it here I did pedicures manicures and the my first set was the set on my hand I haven't done any set after that I am trying to look models but I am not really confident in myself enough to start doing it on somebody so I'm just waiting doing more practice stuff like that I also took it up on myself to practice here. I went ahead, uh, even though I told you guys I don't like it, I went ahead and bought myself a mannequin head. And I was practicing for a couple weeks. And then I posted on Instagram asking for a model. I got the model, I did her hair, I liked it, everybody loved it. But I don't think it's something I go try to again. I need more practice obviously but to say it's my first time I think I did very well and everybody thinks so also I talk about school nail and here now another reason why I have been away is because I have been busy with this little one I go show you guys this little miss have me busy but she finally got sleep and I saw me get to come to the video so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know who she is. And if you don't follow me, where are we can Follow my social so you can see the life away from YouTube. You can get to know me better and stuff like that. So yeah, she is my niece. She's my sister's daughter. And she came here two weeks ago to visit me and my mom. And she's I think she's spending a couple months with us. So during the day, my mom is busy. So I have to help her. It's kind of hectic to have the baby on school and then try to do YouTube videos. So I go, I can't make any promises, but I'm trying to post every week. I can't give a specific day because as I said, I'm busy with baby school and everything else. So I am going to try my best to do videos. What I know for sure, you can look out, look out for a video by the end of this week or the beginning of next week because I have a lit video coming soon and a lot of collabs with other family members other youtubers I have a lot of collabs coming so just stay tuned guys I haven't quit YouTube I don't think I'm going to quit YouTube not know for sure but bear with me guys I have a lot going on and I'm trying to bring good content to you guys i don't want to force so anything. thank you guys for watching i'm really sorry for being inconsistent i am going to try my best to be consistent don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and see you guys next time